Hi, I'm Mars from Carp School, and I'm going to show you how to tie the corner liner. It's a really great, delicate presentation, perfect for fishing over particles or sneaking around stalking in the edge. So to start this simple rig, we're going to tie um, a size 10 hook onto some nice supple braid, just using a grinner knot. Nice and simple. Form a loop. Tag in closest towards you, like so, and pull the standing line, main part of the hook link, out to the left with a hook sitting in there. We're going to hold that in between my thumb and forefinger, like so. Take the tag end, take it over the top once, twice, three, four, five times. Okay, a good strong knot. Wet it just to lubricate it, help it all slide down. Make sure those little, all those little rolls of the knot sit down nice and tightly together. I haven't pulled that down completely tight at this stage because I want that to slide down to the eye of the hook where I can then pull it down good and tight, like so. And trim that off nice and neatly. Okay, so to make sure that the hook link material leaves the eye of the hook at just the right angle, we need to add some shrink tube. And I've got a centimetre here, which is perfect for a hook of this size. So we're going to slide that just over the eye of the hook. And we're going to shrink that down into a nice curved shape here. And then we'll be ready to mount the piece of corn on to create the corner liner rig. So we're going to take that across to the kettle and shrink that shrink tube down to just the right angle. So we're going to create a nice curved shape in the shrink tube, getting that line to leave or getting the hook link to leave the eye of the hook at a really nice aggressive angle, making sure it's dead in line with the point of the hook to make sure the rig mechanics are working just the way you want them to. Dead in line with the point of the hook. A nice aggressive angle that will turn that hook point straight into the bottom lip of the, of the fish's mouth. So with the shrink tube shrunk down nicely like that in a nice aggressive um, angle, we're now going to take a piece of plastic corn. This is pop-up corn and quite fortuitously this corn uh, is as buoyant as the weight of this hook. So the two counterbalance each other. What we're going to do is try and mount it on the shank of the hook like so. So we're going to go through the narrow, narrow end of the corn and we're just going to slide the hook point in, not going in really deep, but just going in a short distance. Might want a pair of pliers for doing this. And you can see there coming back out again. I was just going to slide that round the shank of the hook and bring it down towards the towards the eye, like so. It's important that you have the fat end toward away from the eye of the hook because there's more weight here, and that's going to sit on the bottom, like so. So it's important, I think, to have a beaked point hook, not a straight point hook. If that's just going to sort of gently drift around down on the bottom of the lake, maybe over a spod mix of hemp and corn and so on, um, or perhaps fishing in the margins where there's a bit of wave action, just bouncing around, the last thing you want is that hook point to be straight and grumbling around on the bottom getting blunt. So this is where a beaked point hook really comes into its own, and this should be critically balanced. So finding a hook that pretty much counteracts the weight of some of this pop-up corn. I like the Enterprise stuff. It just seems to be really consistent in, uh, in buoyancy and, uh, and so on. Uh, works really, really well. I've got a good aggressive angle with the, with the shrink tube. And just to finish it off, I've got some tungsten putty that I like to put an inch or two down the hook link 
fair old fair lump of it and just roll that roll that on make it nice and neat that will help prevent any tangles take a bit of time make sure your rigs are nice and tidy and that will sit down like so allowing a good freedom of movement of this corn on the corner liner rig to sit on the bottom like so. I use this stalking a great deal, I really do, and uh, I, I think it's a fantastic presentation. Looking from above, you can, you can hardly, well, you can't see any of the hook, you just see a small piece of shrink tube there. So uh, great camouflage and uh, one well worth trying. There you have it, the corner liner rig.